For all its chaos, the inner solar system is remarkably well defended. A fortress of gravity surrounds our neighborhood. Jupiter, the giant sentinel, patrols the outer edges like a cosmic bodyguard, its massive pull catching or deflecting rogue comets and interstellar debris before they can drift too close. The sun's magnetic field, sweeping outward in a continuous stream of solar wind, clears the space around us like a broom of fire and plasma. Between these forces, Earth seems tucked safely beneath layers of celestial shielding. But the real danger isn't always what comes from beyond. Sometimes the threat is already inside the gates. The main asteroid belt, nestled between Mars and Jupiter, is a vast junkyard of ancient rock, what's left of a planet that never was. Every so often, something breaks free. Not randomly, but nudged by gravitational whispers and orbital resonance. One such fragment began its slow, spiraling journey inward. It did not scream toward us like a comet's flare. It arrived as a whisper, a flicker on a telescope screen in June 2004. Three astronomers, Tucker, Tholen, and Bernardi, caught it at Kitt Peak National Observatory. They didn't yet realize they'd spotted one of the most closely watched asteroids in history. It was eventually named 99942 Apophis, after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos. And true to its name, it stirred a chaos of its own. Not because it came from the distant void, but because it was already among us. So take a breath, look up if you can, and stay with me as we follow the path of Apophis, where it came from, how close it's coming, and what it could mean for the planet beneath your feet. Apophis may have startled humanity when it appeared on our screens in 2004, but it wasn't new, not to the solar system. Its origin traces back billions of years to the dusty chaos of planetary formation, when protoplanets collided and scattered debris into space. One such region, caught forever between Mars and Jupiter, became the main asteroid belt, a cosmic graveyard where Apophis likely began its long existence. A fragment of some larger shattered world that never found stability, just motion and inertia. Over time, subtle forces began to nudge Apophis from its ancient home. The gravitational pull of planets, especially Jupiter and Earth, reshaped its path in quiet but persistent ways. Slowly, it was drawn into a tighter orbit that intersected with Earth's own highway around the Sun. Today, it's classified as an Aten-class near-Earth object, a group of asteroids whose orbits bring them dangerously close to our world. Its orbital period is 324 days, just short of an Earth year, meaning it crosses our path regularly. As it circles the Sun in a highly elliptical orbit, Apophis approaches from within our orbit, then swings outward beyond Earth's completing its circuit with eerie rhythm. It's not a one-time visitor, it's part of a dynamic dance, one that's only getting closer. Now with every orbit, the gravitational threads tighten. And as it approaches again, we begin to study not just its path, but its nature, its potential, and its place in a much larger story. When astronomers first traced the orbit of Apophis in 2004, their calculations sparked something rare in scientific circles. Alarm. The numbers didn't lie. The asteroid was on course to make a stunningly close approach to Earth in 2029, and the odds of an actual impact were higher than anything ever recorded, as high as 1 in 37. For a while, Apophis held a Torino scale rating of 4, the only object in history to do so. It wasn't just a statistical curiosity, it was a potential planetary event. Over the following months and years, telescopes around the world optical and radar alike, locked onto the object. With each new data point, the margin of error narrowed, and by 2006, the worst fears were laid to rest. Apophis would not hit Earth in 2029, but what it would do was still extraordinary. The flyby, scheduled for April 13, 2029, will be unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. Apophis will pass just 31,600 kilometers above Earth's surface closer than our geostationary satellites. That's not just close by cosmic standards, that's brushing the edge of our technological halo. It will streak across the sky fast enough to notice in real time, and for a few hours, it will become visible to the naked eye in parts of the world, shining as bright as a star in the constellation of Cancer. It will not impact, but it will feel us. And we will feel it too, not physically, but gravitationally. 
Earth's mass will tug at Apophis, bending its trajectory, rewriting the orbit it has followed for eons. The 2029 encounter is not just a pass, it's a turning point in its journey. When Apophis swings past Earth on that fateful April day in 2029, it won't just be a close call, it'll be a gravitational handshake. Our planet's immense pull will reach out and subtly reshape the asteroid's orbit, stretching it, redirecting it, changing it forever. This isn't the stuff of science fiction, it's celestial mechanics in action. What Apophis was before that flyby will not be what it is after. Currently, Apophis circles the Sun every 324 days, just shy of Earth's orbital period. But after its near miss, Earth's gravity will pull the asteroid into a longer, wider orbit, pushing its solar loop out of its former rhythm. Its new period will lengthen to approximately 426 days, and its classification will shift from an A-10 asteroid to an Apollo type, meaning it will now spend more of its time beyond Earth's orbit than within it. So what happens next? The good news, scientists have run the simulations, thousands of them. Using radar data, optical tracking, and the most precise gravitational modeling we've ever achieved, they've confirmed that Apophis will not hit Earth in 2029, or 2036, or 2068. In fact, based on all current projections, it poses no significant impact threat for at least the next 100 years. But the story doesn't end there. Gravity is fickle. Tiny forces, thermal radiation, planetary flybys, even the gentle push of sunlight known as the Yarkovsky effect, can, over decades and centuries, shift an asteroid's path in surprising ways. So we will keep watching, we will keep calculating. Because what leaves us in 2029 just might return on a different course one day. Apophis may be small compared to moons and planets, but in the world of asteroids, it's a titan. Roughly 340 meters across and weighing an estimated 61 million tons, it's large enough to flatten a city, shift global weather, or disturb economies, had it ever been on a collision course. But its true power lies not in destruction, it lies in what it has revealed to us. It was the first asteroid to truly shake us, the first to receive a Torino scale rating of four, prompting not just astronomers, but policymakers, defense experts, and space agencies to ask, what would we do if it were coming? In this way, Apophis became a classroom for Earth. It trained our instruments, focused our eyes, and gave rise to new research in planetary defense, orbital mechanics, and asteroid behavior. Its 2029 flyby is not just an astronomical event, it's an opportunity. Scientists plan to study how Earth's gravity may flex the asteroid, trigger landslides, or alter its rotation. Space agencies may even dispatch probes to rendezvous with it, map its surface, or observe its deformation up close. In Apophis, we have a controlled experiment written by the cosmos itself. And who knows, as our technologies advance, as rockets grow reusable and asteroid mining shifts from dream to development plan, Apophis might one day be more than an object of fear or fascination. It could become a resource, a floating mountain of metals and minerals, captured and tapped by the ingenuity of a future Earth. So next time you gaze up at the stars, remember, not every story is told in light. Some drift through the dark, nameless and ancient, until we give them meaning. Apophis is one of those stories, and it's not finished yet.